With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question is, in triangle ABC, angle ABC 90 degree, side AB 6 cm, BC 7.2 cm and BD is perpendicular to side AC. Draw a circumcircle of triangle BDC and then state the length of the radius of this circumcircle drawn. Okay. So first of all, let's draw our ABC triangle. It is given that BC is 7.2 cm. So first of all, let's take our BC side. So here, first of all, we will uh, we'll consider a point here. Okay. Let me zoom it out a bit. Yeah. So here we can see this point is, let's say this is B point. So if we draw a 7.2 cm, take a 7.2 cm line, which will be representing our BC line. So it will be our BC line from this 7.2 cm. So this point is 7.2. So this is 7.2 cm. Okay. So if we join these two points, it will be our BC line. Okay. So this point is B, this point is C. Now it is given that angle ABC is 90 degree. That means here this point, the, there will be a line 90 degree. So first of all, let's draw a 90 degree line. Sorry. Okay. So first of all, let's draw a 90 degree line. So for that, we have to place our compass in the point B and take a small radius. Okay. Take this much of radius, this much of radius and draw an arc. First of all, we'll draw an arc like this from here, like this. We'll draw an arc first. Okay. So from this intersecting point, from this intersecting point, we'll place the compass again another arc which will be like this and from this intersecting point one more arc like this from here from here one more arc like this okay now what we'll do we'll join these two points this point is the intersecting point of the ultimate arcs okay so we'll join them what we'll get we'll get the angle 90 degree angle so it is given that angle ABC is 90. So we have got the 90 degree angle. Now AB is 6 cm. So let's extend this line a bit so that we can get our 6 cm line. So we have to take 6 cm from here. So we'll take uh, place the 6 point here and 0 here. So this is the point A. This point will be our A point because AB is 6 cm. Now we'll join A and C. We'll join A and C. Okay. So this is our triangle ABC. Now it is said that BD is perpendicular to side AC. So we'll draw the perpendicular from B point to line AC. So for that, we'll place our compass here and take the take this much of length. That means which will exceed the line AC. So now we'll draw we'll draw the arc like this. Okay, let's take a bigger one. Okay, we'll draw an arc like this, which will intersect the side AC in two parts. Okay, so from these two intersecting points, from here, we'll draw two more arcs with the same length. From here. Again, one more arc. So we have got this intersecting point again. This one. Now what we'll do? We'll join these two. We don't need to join up to that one. We can just uh, we can just leave it up to this part. So this is our BD point. This point will be the D point, which is the perpendicular on AC. Now we have to draw a circumcircle of triangle BCD. So for that, let's take this length. Okay. So now we'll draw the circumcircle of triangle BCD. As it is a circumcircle, that means the circle will connect with B point, C point and D point. As it will connect with B point and C, so we can take the midpoint of BC. Okay. So for the midpoint of BC, we can draw it, uh, draw the perpendicular bisector of the line BC. So we'll take the more, uh, the length more than the size of BC. Then we'll uh, draw an arc like that and one more arc here. Again, we'll take the size. It will be intersecting here. Okay. Okay. So from this one, we have drawn this arc. From this one, we have drawn this arc. From here, this one. And from here, this one. Now what we'll do, we'll join these two lines. This is the intersecting point. This is the second intersecting point. Okay. So we'll draw these two. So we've got this point only. Okay. So we've got this point. Now what we'll do, we'll draw a circle from this point with the length from this point to B. This point to B. Okay. So we'll draw the circle like this. So this will be our resultant circle. Okay, I'm just, I'm just a bit changed. Okay. So this will be the circle which will be connecting from B, C, and D point. Okay. So this is the resultant circumcircle of triangle B, C, D. Now we have to uh, we have to find out the radius. So if we find out the length of this part, that means from the center, let's say this is the O center. 
if we find out the length of OB, we can see that it's how much? It's 3.6 centimeter approx. Okay. So we can say that OB is equal to how much? So therefore, radius, radius will be equal to, radius will be equal to how much? 3.6 centimeter. This is what we have to prove. Okay. We have to find out the radius and we have to draw the circumcircle of triangle BCD. We have drawn the triangle ABC. BD is the perpendicular. That means this angle is 90. We have drawn the circumcircle also. This is the radius. So this is the correct solution of this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.